single Virgos. For the single Virgo collective, the person on your mind, are they thinking of you? Shall we find out? And if so, what are their thoughts? What I'll do is we'll look into that and then I'll do a little deeper dive into an all sign starting out by element. So air, fire, earth, and water. But this is for the single Virgos, the person on your mind. Eight of Wands, so I'm going to say yes, they are thinking of you. Four of Wands, Five of Wands, yeah, if I feel with those, almost these energies that they're interacting with you, but anyway, <laughs> not like a separation type of energy. Let me do a one card clarifier, but yes, the person on your mind is indeed thinking of you. You have Ten of Wands to the Eight of Wands, I'll hold them up in a moment and go through it. So fiery. Oh, temperance to four of, uh, of wands. Virgos. What am I seeing here? What kind of thoughts are you having? This is the most energetic pull I've seen so far. Okay, well, this is <laughs> like a little bit more calmer energy. All right, well, then again, how, how calm can it be when it's clarifying the five of wands, right? But to me, it's a calm energy. This is like a good collaboration. You got really good energy here, Virgo. Okay, so the person on your mind, yes, they are thinking of you. The um, Now, we could take this ten of wands clarifying the eight of wands as one or two things. One, that they feel that whatever pause has been put into your, your connection, it's gone on for long enough. Or they could just feel that um, now they're at a good point to push the proper effort out into realizing this connection. Either way, I feel that the Ten of Wands clarifying an Eight of Wands is a powerful push forward. This is a good energy. We have more fire with the Four of Wands being clarified by the Temperance. They see something very special here. And then think too that Ten of Wands energy as well coming into this. You know, assuming the burden and responsibility this is not at all frivolous. None of this is frivolous energy. It's very grounded, very practical, very passionate, very um, enthusiastic, very energetic. All these energies look good. Anyway, the person on your mind. Um, I think I already said this, right? Yeah, this is good energy. They see this as a serious connection. Um, and they are... Uh, it's almost like they, they, like cherishing. That's what I'm getting here. The Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Wands. I feel this is also a really good combination because it makes this into constructive building. All these energies are, were all these Five Wands and people holding them up, they're all working in unison towards the same goal. This is aligned energy, aligned energy with a great push forward. I mean, this is so energetic and so organized and not at all full of chaos. It's very deliberate and focused. Anyway, Virgo, for the general energy so far and the person on your mind, you got a good person on your mind. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, anyway, for the person on your mind, let's see if they'll come forward. Yes, they will come forward uh, with the Ten of Cups energy. I feel we should get a timing card on this, but I feel as well we already have timing with the Eight of Wands. I mean, that speaks to it, but we'll just do a timing. More energies. Ace of Swords. This is like the best pull I've pulled, again, out of all the signs. Virgo, who is this person on your mind? 
What a lucky connection. Okay, I'm going to dive into a little bit more information based on the zodiac sign of the person that you're thinking of. So, Virgo, if you're thinking of a Libra, if a Libra is on your mind, though I feel like we could just end it right here and go like, you know, you're good. If a Libra is on your mind, King of, of, of uh, Wands, <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, and King of Swords, oh, excuse me, not Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and King of Swords. Oh, so fiery. Seriously. Okay, Virgos, if you're dealing with a Libra as a person on your mind, I see this as, yeah, they are, this, this matches the timing and um, coming forward of the general read with the Ten of Cups and the um, Ace of Swords. They feel like enough time has gone by or whatever decisioning process that they've done. This should not take long if you're dealing with a Libra. Know that they are... Um, To say determined to come forward is an understatement, Virgo. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, if the person on your mind is a Gemini, Six of Cups, the Chariot, and the Eight of Cups. Virgo, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I almost wonder if this person is at some distance from you, or if there's some sort of distance that they need to bridge to come forward, but know that they will come forward. I see this as a soon, this, there's a little bit of delay, I, I feel, in terms of contact with these energies. So this is a little delayed from the general read if you're dealing with a, a Gemini. But know that they're still coming forward with um, great energy and enthusiasm still. This is a little delayed for some reason. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, if the person on your mind is an Aquarius, let's take a look. We have the star card. You know, I shuffled these. <laughs> if we are dealing with an Aquarius, yeah, they should also be. It's like a soon er card. Only because the star isn't exactly an immediate card. And it also speaks to putting care into something, you know, treating something delicately. So that's why I don't see them necessarily rushing in immediately. It's like a soon if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Not long though. If you're dealing with a Sag, Virgo, if you are dealing with a Sag, If you're dealing with a SAG, we have Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Lovers. If you're dealing with a SAG, they should be coming in fast. They feel whatever delay that's been going on has been going on long enough. If they are not at your door now, they will be at your door soon. SAG is tearing up the asphalt to get to you. If you are dealing with an Aries, Virgo, if the person on your mind is an Aries, they have all this fiery energy too. If you are dealing with an Aries, Virgo, oh, look at those cards too. 
You have such nice energy with a person on your mind, at least what I'm picking up right now. Um, the world, Knight of Cups, and the Empress. Oh, this person thinks the world of you. Um, they hold you in high esteem, and I don't see it taking very long either. But know also that they hold you in very high esteem, Virgo. It's like the gallant uh, stories that you find in, um, you know, those princess uh, comics or something like that. You know, the ones with like European royalty or something, or get reincarnated as that. <laughs> very fairy tale like, but yet very full of respect. Okay, if you are dealing with. I believe we have Leo now, right? If you're dealing with a Leo, as a person on your mind, Virgo, strength. Hmm. This, Virgo, if you're dealing with a Leo, This person seems to feel slighted. I'm going to pull a card clarifier, especially with the strength here, too. See what this Five of Cups is about. King of Cups, disappointed. Male energy. This is Queen of Wands, judgment. Okay, if you're dealing with a Leo, Virgo, I think the Leo has some issues around your connection. So, um, Five of Cups clarifying the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands coming to a judgment clarifying judgment or you know judgment clarifying queen of wands yeah there's something here if you're dealing with a leo that they've realized and i don't think it's a full gung-ho ahead so i know if you're dealing with a leo they could not be feeling their best right now about the connection If you're dealing with, I think we went through all the fire signs, right? I believe so. I think we're on to earth signs. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. Virgo, if you are dealing with a Taurus, Death, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups. Virgo, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this person will be reaching out to you soon as well. And I believe that they are coming with expectations that they won't hesitate to share with you about what they want. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, the person on your mind is a Capricorn. Nine of Cups, Emperor, and Page of Cups. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, this person is coming in fast. They are very, 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 very excited about meeting up with you, a Virgo. If you're dealing with a fellow Virgo, the person on your mind is a fellow a Virgo. Strength, Chariot, Four of Cups. Why do we have this Four of Cups here? I'm going to clarify that Four of Cups. Let's find out 
I'm going to clarify both the chariot and the four cups. Four Virgos. Four cups gets seven of wands. Chariot gets... Oh yeah, it won't be long. So Virgos, if you're dealing with a fellow Virgo, we have the Knight of Wands adding extra fuel, fiery fuel no less, to our chariot. Four of Cups is clarified by the seven of um, wands. This person's mind, excuse me, this person's mind is made up. If you are dealing with a Virgo, this should not be long as well. And let us see. I think we're on water signs. Virgo, if the person on your mind is a Pisces. I just wanted to fall out the moon for the Pisces card. We'll take it. And pull out two more. Virgo. Oh, excuse me. Virgo. <laughs> it's like Virgo, your card popped up. Um, so Virgos, if you're dealing with a Pisces, like both of you are represented here. Let me pull a card, some clarifiers on this. It's like a decision. That's what I'm feeling, but. Strength to our moon. Five of pentacles to our hermit. Ooh, our tower to you have such fiery energy in the people overall. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Pisces, stre um, strength is clarifying the moon. This person's thoughts are strong. You know, unwavering conviction here. The hermit is clarified by the five of pentacles, so obviously speaking to the distance and then this king of wands energy clarified by the tower between the moon being clarified by strength so really strong emotions also conviction very strong convictions in themselves as well with this knight excuse me, with a king clarified by the tower. If you're dealing with a Pisces, first of all, know they have some really intense feelings about your connection. Will they approach? I say they could. I almost feel too with the fact that we have the Virgo card and we're doing a reading for Virgos and this is like the Pisces and we have Pisces and Virgo as well that maybe they feel you should be the one to reach out with that five of pentacles energy clarifying the Virgo. I mean, <laughs> the Virgo. <laughs> clarifying the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like if you're dealing with a Pisces, no, number one, they are, they have some intense feelings about your connection. They could reach out, but more strongly what I'm feeling, especially with this, you know, convictions they have. Ooh, they have such strong convictions. I feel, Virgo, if you're dealing with a Pisces, you might be better off contacting them first. And be aware that if you contact them first, be in very calm, cool, collected, hermit-like energy. Because they may have, whether they show it or not, they may have uh, some very strong feelings. This is a strong feeling. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's just get rid of that. Angst. But anyway, Virgos, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, if a Scorpio is on your mind, for our Virgos, 
Six of Swords, Death and Justice. Yeah, this person is coming in fast. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they've already done, I would say, um, whatever loose ends to approach you. And they will be coming in fast. And it looks like as well, they have serious expectations of your connection. And finally, Virgos, Cancer. If a Cancer is the person on your mind, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. Virgos, if you're dealing with a Cancer, this person is waiting for you to approach them. If you wait for them to approach you, it's going to be a while. Not saying they won't, but at this time it'll be a while. You'd have better luck if you approach them. All right, Virgos, let me know if this resonates. If it does, like or leave a comment. Also, subscribe. I'm a new channel. I look forward to putting out videos. I am enjoying putting out videos. I appreciate your time as well that you spend looking at my content. Thank you. And I will be back with more videos for the Virgo Collective shortly. Have a good day. Bye-bye.